revenge sleep procrastination, a term that I think hit the internet really hard in 2020. At night, instead of going to your bed, turning off the light, laying down, you're doing other things like watching Netflix, playing a game, it might be scrolling on TikTok, doing something other than getting sleep. One of the things that is really prevalent is this idea that I don't have as much control over my day as I might need or I'm not experiencing the types of kind of social engagement that, or even cognitive like exciting things that I need for me to feel fulfilled. We're using this nighttime to get in all the extra little things that make me feel like I had a good day. One of the things that's really important about it that actually makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're doing something that's like for you. Um, but I think counterintuitively putting off your sleep might actually be, be causing you some harm. Sleep is our natural body's way to restore itself. Prolonging our sleep or pushing it off or not getting enough of it, one, we're gonna feel really tired the next day, <laughs> that's for sure. That sleep is really important for our psychological, mental, behavioral health. Sleep is, does so much work to regulate and kind of drive our body's kind of homeostatic processes, keeping us regulated throughout the 24 hour day, that without it, our bodies become very dysregulated. Um, the, our physical health becomes really you know, at risk. And I think to make time for, for sleep, to make time to really be a healthy individual going forward and sleep health being one of the keys to that, you have to prioritize your future self. You have to really think about and make your future self as important as your present self. What are your long-term goals? Thinking about how you can do the things that you like while also getting the sleep that you need.